it's Friday night, or I guess it's actually Saturday now because it's almost one in the morning, but I wanted to do a weekend reading vlog. Usually my reading vlogs are over two weeks because I find that's just easier to make content over a longer time and just to have like more going on. But I have a weekend where I'm not doing much. I'm just relaxing and my plan is to read a lot and like catch up on booktube videos and like other videos that I wanna watch. So I'm gonna have a lot more time. So I figured I wanted to experiment with a weekend reading vlog format to see if I like that better. Just, just to see. So right now I'm reading it nine times by Leigh Bardugo and honestly like I, and it's speeding through it. I'm on page 325. I have been reading it since Monday or Tuesday, I think, but I feel like I'm speeding through it because I, when I pick it up, I read a lot, but I haven't been able to pick it up every single day this week. But I think it's so fascinating. Like we have alternating timelines and like Lee Bardugo just like does it so well. And it definitely touches on a lot of very dark topics, but it's handled in a really good way. And I, it's just so fascinating. All like the secret societies and stuff. Like I feel like I could potentially I have about 100 pages left. Maybe I'll read until like one and then maybe go to bed and watch some videos, but like I could just potentially stay up and finish this because I'm loving it so much. I just think it's so, it's fascinating. I just love Lee Bardugo and I think this is a really, really strong adult debut. The next book that I want to read is Escaping from Houdini by Carrie Maniscalco because Isabella from Third Pages and I have been buddy reading this whole series and we said that we would start on this one this weekend so I gotta do that but because I have lots of time I want to also potentially read Monstrous Volume 2 because I'm in love with this series. I read Volume 1 like a week ago fell in love with it. Then I think I'm gonna pick up Death Note because I just want to read more manga and I've only read two mangas waiting for spring volumes one and two and this one just seems like a really good series to help me get into manga because a lot of people that don't read manga have read this those are the plans i also want to do some bullet journaling probably do my november setup i had done a video last month for my setup but those are kind of hard to make it's a little bit uh more low-key if i just do it in a vlog so i might do that but i also have some mail and I got all of these really cool washi tapes for bullet journaling. They're all like star themed. I just went on Amazon and looked. So we have these four designs. Come on, focus. Which are super nice. And then these four. So I'm also excited to use these guys. That's how it goes with journaling. You just get more into it and then all of a sudden you own like 50 washi tapes. So yeah, I'm gonna go now and finish, see how much I can read Ninth House before I get tuckered out for bed and then go and lay down and watch some videos before I sleep. Um, yeah, that's it. Well, it's now 2.30 in the morning, but I finished Ninth House. What a book, I could not put it down. Oh my god, and the ending. Oh, I need the next book now. Oh my god, I loved it. I loved it a lot. <laughs> it was so good. Five stars. Oh, Lee Bardugo is a queen. Oh my god. I freaking loved it. It's 2.30 in the morning, so I don't have any more coherent thoughts, but I loved it. It was amazing. Wow, I need more, I need more. Oh, it was so good. Hello, it's now Saturday morning, and oh, afternoon now. Lazy starts in the morning, but my plans for my relaxing reading weekend as I'm going to start escaping from Houdini now, and Isabella is starting this today as well. We've been buddy reading this whole series. Then I need to go to the gym and clean my apartment, organize some stuff, typical weekend activities and then I want to bullet journal later, later and like also just have time to catch up on some shows that I want to watch so I'm just really relaxed and like happy about it.
it's Monday, November 4th. I said I was going to do a weekend reading vlog. I didn't, but I did read more of Escaping from Houdini and I'm on page 137. Loving it so far. It's great. But the main reason I wanted to vlog is because I have two mystery packages and either I forgot what I ordered or uh, someone found me something. So let's see. They seem book shaped. Oh, no, this is something that I ordered that I forgot about. Oh, it's so pretty. I got it a day early. That is Girls of Storm and Shadow by Natasha Ningan, the sequel to Girls of Paper and Fire. I thought this would come tomorrow, but it came today. Oh, there's the locket again. The girls of Paper and Fire did the impossible. They escaped, but out into the unforgiving wild, hunted like animals. They discover that the most terrifying prisons have no walls. To be free, they must destroy a king who refuses to die. A storm is coming. Oh, I think this is going to be great, but it's going to have such dark themes. But hold on, it says, We escaped in the dark of the night, believing we would now lead our lives in the light of the sun. But we discovered that we could not truly be free, not until those who imprisoned us were stopped. We may not be paper girls anymore, but we can still spark fire, and now we have a whole world to set ablaze. Oh, I think this is going to be really good, but like really tough. There was a trigger warning in the first book. And I wonder if there is going to be one in this. Yes, there is. It says, please be aware that this book contains scenes of violence and self-harm and references to sexual abuse and trauma recovery. So I really enjoy that they have a whole page just for the trigger warnings. I think that's really important and especially that this deals with such a heavy topic. It's great. All right, other box. What else did I forget that I bought? Oh, another thing. I, I forgot that I bought this. <laughs> It's here! Oh my goodness, I love it. Oh my god. What the heck? This copy is damaged. Oh, and the, look at the back. What's wrong with the back? Look at how damaged it is. I think I'm gonna return it. You can get is it. Is it used? No, it's brand new. I'm gonna return it. You can return it for free if. So it's very damaged, so I'm going to return this one because like what the heck? And there's like, it's like missing part of like the skin here and like if you don't know this, if you order any books from Amazon <clears throat> and they come in like bad condition, save the box and then go online and say that you want to return it because it came damaged and you can describe the damages and they will send you a label to send it back. And then all you have to do is drop it off at like UPS or something like that. So I'm going to do that because I paid for a new book. And I got a damaged one. Alright, here I was thinking that I was going to get mystery packages and they were things that I ordered for myself. <laughs> okay, bye. Hello, it's Tuesday, November 5th, right? 6th, 5th, 5th. And I'm going to The Starless Sea by Erin Morgenstern signing later today. It's before work, but I just wanted to pop on and say that and I'll hopefully try and get some clips. I'm not sure what the signing is going to be like. I think it's like a reading. Or it's probably like a conversation. I don't know. But I'm going. I read The Night Circus by her and I thought it was really great. I gave it like four stars. And now The Starless Sea just seems like so intriguing and people that I know have been saying that they love it. So I'm excited to get the book and hopefully read it this month. That's all. I just got back from the signing for The Starless Sea by Erin Morgenstern. She was brilliant to hear her talk. I really loved what she had to say and i'm just really excited about this book i started reading it and it's like a book within a book and there's like different symbolism and fairy tales and if you've read the night circus and just know how like winding and like i don't know like those kinds of books definitely take like a wild read like i think this won't be like a quick read but i am excited to read it because i think it's just going to be delectable and I wish I could say more coherent things right now, but I'm freaking exhausted. I'm currently reading Escape from Houdini, a buddy read, of course, with Isabella. We, I'm on page 179. I don't know where Isabella is right now, but I'm pretty tired, so I'm probably just going to read up to wherever she is and call it a day. So the exciting thing is if you've been watching my vlogs, you probably know that I've been getting into BTS. I love them forever and ever, but I have expanded my K-pop tastes because I've just been realizing it's a really fun thing to be into and I have like a K-pop Twitter now if you want to follow that. 
here's the handle I'll leave it in the link if you are so inclined um it's really me just like screaming about bands that i like or groups that i like but anyways this other group that i've really really been getting into they have quickly rocketed up there right next to bts with like bands that i adore is ATs. i am very excited and so i purchased an album from them which i'm very like slow to purchase albums like i have still haven't collected all the bts albums i'm spacing them out over time just like for so i don't spend a lot of money at once and to savor the experience but because i've been getting into them and the price was not too bad, I decided to go ahead and get this album. So let's open it on up. It came in a big old Amazon package. Okay. Oh, there's more stuff in here. Perfect. Oh, I forgot I ordered these. That's nice. So I also got some gel pens. I got the white gel pens, jelly roll, and jelly roll stardust pens. Okay, so now I have my AT's album. Look at it! Here it is. It's so cute. Oh, it's really thick. That's what you said. Stop. Okay, so these are Lomo cards, which are like unofficial photo cards. So I have this one. Just a group shot. Ah, and then I have Jung Ho, who is the youngest, and my bias, Songwa. Do you know what a bias is, Alex? <clears throat> Mine too. <laughs> okay, so now it came with a poster. Oh, I love this poster. Look at it. Okay, here it is. Let's open it up. This is Treasure All to Action version Z because it's white and I like the white one. Oh my god, I can't get it open. All right, here is the book. And then this is a photo book. Oh, what's this? There's more? Oh, what? what is going on? Okay, so then this is the CD itself in the back of the box and then these are postcards oh oh this is so cool they're like little mini postcards this one and this is Hangjun oh and each one is like for each track it's like the credits this is Songwa this is Yunho Yo Sang, San, Mingyi, Wu Young, Zhang Ho, these three, these three, these two, and then stickers. I love stickers. Now for the moment of truth is pulling the photo card. This is always the most nerve wracking part. So let's see who I got. Okay, here it is. Here's the back. Oh! I got Mingi. That's cool. Oh, and I got a group photo card as well. That's awesome. Yay, I'm so happy. Yay. And then this is the photo book with like the military concept. And they have this thing that you put over. Hello, welcome back to the vlog. It's Saturday, November 9th. And um, you know, I've just been chilling. I don't, can't even recall when I vlogged this week. I don't know. I don't know the last time I vlogged, but it is fine because I'm here now. So first I want to talk about Escaping from Houdini, which I read with the lovely Isabella over at Throne Pages. And we finished on Thursday, I think. And like, it's just such a joy. Buddy reading with her. We send our annotations back and forth. This third book, there is an aspect that is almost like a love triangle, which is kind of an interesting thing to throw in when you are two books into an established relationship between characters. But the way that it works, it, it makes sense, I think. Um, it's almost like Audrey Rose goes undercover, and I read in the back, and Carrie Maniscal goes, inspiration for this 
storyline was that she was talking to someone that was an undercover cop talking about how sometimes you can get your feelings mixed up from reality when you are going undercover and i thought that that was fascinating so and i think it shows the thomas cresswell's character really well um i think it reflects very nicely on him as a love interest and i overall just like thought the the murders were very clever they were framed after tarot cards and when you discover like the why it's it's very clever and i just think that this book has a lot of really good quotes about life and just like there's some things that just hit me really hard because the characters will be talking and they'll just like say something so amazing and i actually just opened up the page to one of my favorite quotes so let me read it it says dreams are strange curiosities sure everyone possesses the ability to lay their heads down and imagine but to do so without limitations or doubt, that is something else entirely. Dreams are boundless, shapeless things, given strength and form from individual imaginations, their wishes. All it takes is one shard of doubt to wedge itself into them, and they deflate. If you can dream without limits, you can soar to great heights. Let the magic of your imagination set you free. Like, there are just so many quotes like that, and I adore them. Like, I just think that it's it's just written very, very well. Carrie Maniscalco is a master of prose. The relationship the characterization like i just love these characters so much and this book is phenomenal reading it with isa is just like the best thing ever and so we finished that and i started capturing the devil right off the bat i'm hooked we are kind of like it's almost a callback to the first novel and it's it's uh huh, making me nervous but i am really just engrossed in the story i'm on page uh let's see 71 so we said that we would read up to the end of chapter 16 today so i've been tabbing like the goal of the day last night i told isabella like let's start and read the first five chapters and then i fell asleep so i'm reading all 15 chapters today but it's a weekend and i'm not doing much else so that's good. So I'll, I'm going to get up to chap to page 129 and then I think tomorrow since it's another week day, weekend day maybe we'll read another 10 chapters and then it depends on like if I work or not <laughs> how many chapters I can read in a day. Oh no! It's okay. We're fine. We're fine here. So the next thing that I want to read when I, once I reach my goal in capturing the devil I think that I want to read monstrous volume two because i just have been thinking about this series so much graphic novels don't take too long to read through and like i i'm just so in love with monstrous from the first volume that i need to continue on and with that let's get into some like unboxing stuff so firstly i have this this envelope from shelby morin my light died we're just gonna deal with it so these are character cards from Serpent and Dove. Oh, cool. They're really cool. Okay. I love Serpent and Dove. I have an arc and I gave it five out of five stars. I'm actually going to be sending it along to Isabella now that I have a finished copy. And so here are the character cards. This is Reed. This is Cosette. This is Ansel, my cinnamon roll. And this is Blue. I just love pre-order incentives. I think it's great. And I do have quite a few arts that I'm sending on to my friends for them to read. And I'm just really excited to share the bookish love. And one more thing is I have my book of the month box. I am an affiliate for book of the month. So YA. So if you are interested, please use my link down in the description. And you, I think I will have the code either somewhere on the screen or down there. And you get your first box for $9.99. So I just love the packaging. When you open it, it says read your heart out. And it has a book here. So I got the Guinevere Deception by Kirsten White. It comes with a cool little <clears throat> bookmark. So, oh, the back of this is really cool. So I read And I Darken series by Kirsten White and I adored it. So I am really interested to see how she takes on like a feminist retelling of King Arthur because basically like And I Darken was a gender bent retelling of Vlad the Impaler and it, like Lana Dracul is one of the most badass characters that I've ever read about, so I just think that she's going to do a really good job with this legend, so I will hopefully get to this soon. And with that, it's time to read for the night. Bye! Okay, so it's pretty late now, but I read Capturing the Devil up to page 129, right? Yes, okay. So Isabella and I were like, let's read up to the end of chapter 15 today, and I'm so happy that I did because... 
what I read chapter 11 and chapter 15 specifically if you've read this book you know it made my Cressworth heart very happy um Sir Isaac Mutin I love him forever he's my new favorite character um yeah I'm just <laughs> Oh, this book is just giving me all the feels. I love it so much. And the murders. Oh. Then I started Monstrous Volume 2 just because I've been itching to pick this up. I read one chapter and I'm like, I should probably go to bed. But I'm hopefully going to finish this in the morning. And then tomorrow we'll probably read another 5 to 10 chapters. Decide on what is best for us. Then. But yeah, it's kind of nice having a buddy read because then I have like a specific goal in mind of what I want to read each day. And yeah, I just like, I'm so in love with Monstrous. It's such a good graphic novel series. If you like fantasy and you want to get into graphic novels, this is a really good one. Because it's like a high fantasy steampunk type story in graphic novel format. So it's like a type of story I already know that I love, but drawn and the artwork is a bit beautiful. So for now, I'm gonna go watch some videos in bed and then go to sleep. Bye!